hello everyone hope you all are doing well taking care of yourself as well as your family uh, this is our fifth lecture on the course title fluid mechanics 2 and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the types of drags and bodies as we have discussed previously uh, whenever any object submerge into the liquid it will be subjected to certain amount of forces which will be exerted by the uh, flowing fluid on that object and if i resolve that total forces which is exerted by the fluid uh, into two component one is acting in uh, uh, direction to the uh, in direction of motion and another is acting in normal to the direction of motion then whatever that vertical component which is acting in normal to the direction of motion is known as lift force and the component which is acting in direction of motion is known as uh, drag force uh, as we all know and we have discussed previously that uh, uh, existence of this lift force will depend on the axis of symmetry of the body if axis of symmetry of the body getting coincide with the uh, flow of the uh, fluid in that case there will be no lift force because there will be no resolving component in the vertical direction and there will be only a drag force so drag force always be there whether lift force will depend on the axis of symmetry of the body whether it is asymmetrical or symmetrical if it is asymmetrical with the flow uh, in that case there will be a lift force so drag force is very much important because it is going to affect your uh, movement or uh, motion of the object which is uh, moving through the uh, fluid uh, you can take an example of a vehicle which is uh, uh, moving through an air uh, so its movement will be totally affected by the uh, drag force and as it is going to provide the resistance for the movement of the uh, particular object in the forward direction and we need additional extra power to overcome it so we are going to discuss different types of uh, drag the first one is the parasite drag uh, this drag will be produced uh, uh, due to the motion of the object uh, through the fluid you can take an example of aircraft or uh, vehicles which are uh, uh, moving through the air so they will be subjected to that resistance and that resistance uh, drag is known as parasite drag this parasite drag is classified into three categories the first one is the skin friction drag second one is the form drag and third one is the interference drag skin friction drag we have already discussed it can be computed by using term uh, integration of tau dA sine of theta and we have also discussed one example when a plate is held uh, parallel to the direction of motion at that time uh, my theta will become 90 degree and whatever my pressure drag will reduce to the zero and whatever my total drag uh, in this case uh, will be only because of skin friction drag so the skin friction drag will be experienced by every object when they are moving through the uh, fluid uh, uh, at the surface due to the roughness of the surface and if your surface is not smooth uh, this uh, value of the skin friction drag will be the higher you can also take an example of swimmers uh, they will also experience this skin friction drag and to overcome this skin friction drag they used to wear a swimmers cap which is smooth in nature and they are going to reduce that uh, skin friction drag by using this swimmer cap and the next one is the form drag or pressure drag we have also discussed this uh, example uh, by considering the vertical plate uh, the plate held perpendicular to the direction of motion and at that time whatever my theta will be get reduced to the zero and whatever the screen friction drag would also get reduced to zero and whatever my total drag that will be only because of pressure drag now what will happen whenever my flow is coming and passing uh, to that this particular vertical plate at that time there will be a separation takes place at this uh, edge of the plate and beyond the separation point there will be a formation of wake so in the wake there will be a negative pressure zone and due to that negative pressure zone this uh, liquid try to move towards this uh, negative pressure zone and uh, due to this additional pressure will be created on this particular plate because we know that uh, liquid always move, use uh, always move from higher pressure zone to lower pressure zone and in this case this liquid try to move towards this negative pressure zone and excess pressure will be generated on this particular plate and this is known as pressure drag another uh, type of parasite drag is interference drag now this interference drag uh, will be exist when uh, there will be interference of two or more air flow uh, which are having different velocities uh, you can also take a uh, different location and if they uh, interfere with each other at that time there will be a generation of interference drag this kind of interference drag uh, will be generated at the toe of the wings of the aeroplane another one uh, profile drag or total drag as we have discussed previously also uh, profile drag or total drag is the sum of form drag and skin friction drag 
and the last one lift induced drag now lift induced drag uh, uh, as an example of uh, generation of drag because of the lift now whenever there will be a formation of vortices at the toe of the wings of the aeroplane at that time uh, this kind of drag will be generated uh, we can consider it in by considering an example let us consider this is an wing of an aeroplane at the initial at the upper face uh, this is the direction of total force which is acting on this particular wing and if i resolve its uh, it into two direction one is acting in the horizontal direction that is in direction of motion another is acting in a normal to the direction of motion so in that case uh, whatever this will be the my lift but if i consider the toe of this particular wing uh, where my force is acting like this so in this case uh, whatever my previously resolved component of the lift was like this and this is the my drag force and uh, due to this change in direction of the particular total force or particular fluid flow my lift force will be get resolved into two component again here it is the vertical component and here it is the component which is acting in direction of motion and at that time whatever this additional drag component which is acting in direction of motion is known as lift induced drag as we have discussed all things about the drag uh, and we have also seen that drag is going to provide the resistance to the movement of the vehicle or any object through the liquid or through the fluid so we need to overcome this drag and that we generally uh, uh, used to do by uh, uh, properly designing the shape of the uh, different objects or different uh, uh, bodies so we can minimize that total drag so uh, here we are going to discuss about the uh, different types of bodies which we are using to minimize the drag the first one is the streamline body so streamline body uh, a body whose uh, surface coincide with the streamlines when it placed in the flow is called as streamlined body you can see here in the figure whatever this particular uh, body and its surface getting coincide with the streamlines if you look at those streamlines which are coming and smoothly passing over it if i am considering here an square object so if i am considering an uh, object having shape like this so in this case uh, those streamline may not cross it uh, over smoothly so in this case uh, this body can said to be a blob body and it is not streamline body so in case of streamline body your uh, Uh, surface getting coincide with the streamlines of the fluid and that body is known as streamline body and in in case of streamline body whatever your uh, boundary layer separation will be takes place at the uh, near to the trailing edge and uh, due to this uh, formation of boundary separation of boundary layer at the trailing edge whatever your uh, size of wake which is getting formed at the downstream due to the separation of boundary layer will be very small so due to this uh, smaller size of wake there will be a lesser uh, or uh, a uh, smaller negative pressure zone and there will be a smaller additional pressure which is acting on this particular uh, front end of the body so our drag will be get minimized dramatically uh, you can see here uh, by providing streamlined design of the body our uh, what are the total length or you can say uh, at, um, contact surface may increase so it may increase your screen friction drag but still uh, due to the reduction of considerable amount of uh, drag force our total drag would be still uh, reduce as compared to the blob body you can look at this uh, example of this fish which is uh, generally said to be a streamlined uh, shape and when they used to move through the water at that time uh, they can move easily because their surface or whatever their uh, shape will be get coincide with the streamlines so they can move easily through the water uh, without uh, getting much resistance as compared to the others you can also look at uh, those two vehicles uh, the one is uh, having a slightly blurb body and another is a slightly streamlined body now if you see here whatever my uh, air flow or uh, layer of the air coming here and striking another layer is coming here and striking and not getting passed over easily and again whatever the boundary layer which is forming at the downstream will be slightly higher now due to that uh, there will be a negative pressure zone and due to that additional uh, pressure will be created on this frontal end but if you see here <coughs> whatever my air Uh, layers are coming slightly and moving over the body and whatever my uh, negative pressure zone has been reduced dramatically and due to that whatever my total drag which is acting on this particular body would also get reduced
Now the next one, uh, the bluff body. The block body uh, whose surface does not match or coincide with the uh, streamlines is known as block body. And in case of block body, whatever the uh, uh, peak formation will be the larger. Uh, so separation of boundary layer will be the very quick and beyond the separation point, si uh, wake, uh, size of the wake will be very uh, uh, big as compared to the uh, streamline body. And due to that, there will be a higher negative pressure zone formed at the downstream and due to that, uh, uh, there will be additional uh, pressure force which is acting on the uh, front uh, end of the uh, that particular blub body and uh, due to that your drag will be increased as compared to the uh, drag on the streamline body though you can reduce your skin friction drag but still your uh, total drag would be reduced uh, because of uh, whatever uh, pressure drag and this is this may not feasible uh, in case of if we are considering the aerodynamic efficient design you can also look at that uh, you can also try to understand this example by considering those two uh, vehicles one is the normal vehicle and another is the f1 race car so you can see here uh, this this is also having a slightly streamlined body but not totally but you can see here this uh, particular f1 race car is totally streamlined so you can see towards the uh, uh, to this uh, particular streamlined uh, design of the F1 racing car that are able to uh, speed up their uh, uh, you know they can accelerate very easily because they can over, uh, overcome the resistance which is provided by the air uh, by minimizing the boundary layer which is getting formed at the downstream of your vehicle so your uh, total drag which is acting on the vehicle on the front and side will be get reduced and they can accelerate very easily with the very uh, very much faster rate uh, okay this is what about the types of body and types of drags in the next lecture we will discuss uh, about the uh, uh, various factors which are uh, going to affect the uh, uh, drag and uh, we will also discuss some example of the vehicles uh, by which we can maintain the uh, you know shapes of vehicles by which we can uh, reduce the drag up to the certain extent thank you